Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to another webinar with Streak. In this webinar, we are going to cover how to trade the budget with Streak. You can visit Streak by going to https www.streak.tech. The link is shown here. And you can also follow us on our Twitter handle at Streak Tech. For any questions during this webinar or after this webinar, you can also write to us at support at Streak Tech. Let's quickly get started. In this webinar, we are going to cover the following topics. We are first going to analyze the previous budget our announcements using trend. What, what I mean by trend is using trend following strategies. The second analysis that we are going to do is using candlestick pattern. So I'll explain more in detail, but we are going to see what did the trend predict uh, immediately after the budget and did the trend continue for a short term duration and a mid term duration both with trend following and candlestick pattern. Then the next topic we are going to cover is how, what did we, what information did we deduce? What did we understand using these techniques? How can we use this to trade? Then we will backtest strategies based on this methods on past budgets. Then we'll also backtest strategies based on sectoral specific announcements in, in uh, different budgets, different years, different budgets. We'll uh, showcase some of those sectoral strategies. Then we'll conclude the webinar. This is going to be an exciting webinar. So stay tuned and invite your friends. Before I move on, uh, for those who need some help in understanding and getting started with Street Tech, uh, we have a request demo feature at the bottom, right? Whenever you log in, if once you see this option, you can enter your phone number and press on submit to request demo. And our team will help you out in understanding how to create strategies, how to use scanners and other things like that for wherever you need assistance. Now let's move on. So let's first analyze with trend how the previous budgets have performed using 50 EMA technique. This is a very standard approach in which people basically look at 50 day uh, exponential moving average and check whether the trend is bullish or bearish. If the closing price is above a 50 day moving average, it is considered as a bullish trend uh, and if it is below it basically is considered as a bearish trend. Let me quickly open this in chart. Okay, so uh, I'll just plot, let me just zoom in for those guys who need some help on that. <coughs> so I have just, let me just open nifty for ease and plot moving averages. So 50 day uh, using close price exponential moving average. Okay. So the simplest analysis that we are going to keep in mind, what we are trying to do here is basically trying to explain different ways to analyze pre and post budget markets and how you can use that to understand and build your strategies. Okay. So whenever the price crosses above 50 day moving average, the trend is considered as bullish. You can see here, you can see here, but you can also backtest and see even more of this on street. Okay. So even you see here, the price cross over 50 day moving average now it continued. So there are many times where it crosses, but then it comes back like here. But again, for a few days, there was a bullish trend. Having said all of that, a simple, the simplest way to understand a trend is basically by looking at its long uh, or mid uh, range mid term moving average. So that's why we are first analyzing pre budget and post budget looking at trend. So let's look at this. Historically, we have taken data from 2013 till 2019. So the budget was announced on Feb 2013 and the closing price that day was below 50 day moving average, 50 day exponential moving average. Uh, and the, the trend continued for the short term. That means after one month also the price fell uh, after that budget announcement and after six to 12 months also price was down. This is in 2013. 2014, obviously there are more macroeconomic uh, things that are happening, uh, which cannot be accounted just by looking at a chart. 
but what we are trying to do is derive strat uh, statistical significance probabilistic analysis is what we are doing to understand how can we devise strategies that work either on bullish side or on bearish side okay so let's look at the next year the next year budget was announced on uh, 10th july 2014 in that the closing price was higher than the 50 day moving average the day closing of this day and the short term trend was bullish and the uh, long term trend which is 6 to 12 years in this scenario intermediate trend uh, also was bullish uh, the next is on 28 feb 2015 same way here the price closed above 50 day uh, exponential moving average but the short term trend became bearish and the long term uh, trend became bearish as well now there is 2016 where again the um uh, the day closing price was below 50 day moving uh, exponential mo moving average but the short term trend of one month was bullish and the intermediate term also was bullish same analysis for 2017 um bullish uh, and bullish bullish for sh both short term and intermediate 2018 again feb 2018 uh, the price closed above but the short term trend was bearish uh and the intermediate term trend was bullish and this is 2019 last year where the price even though closed above 50 day exponential moving average the short term trend was um bearish then it became bullish now based on this table what do we analyze what can we deduce from this so only 3 out of 7 times the trend during the budget day was continued for short term trend what that means is here only 3 out of 7 times the short term trend was continued in in 2014 it was continued the day close was bullish short term trend was bullish uh the 2013 also it was continued the day trend was bearish the short term trend was bearish uh and 2017 it was continued where day uh, close was uh, bullish and the short term trend also was bullish okay five out of seven times the trend during the budget day was discontinued or uh, day was continued for long term or intermediate term trend what that means is the short the day trend was bearish the short term trend was bearish the uh, sorry um, intermediate term was bearish the day trend was bullish the intermediate term was bullish only in 2015 and 2016 is where uh, out of all this uh, years the short term trend didn't reflect the or the day trend didn't uh, match intermediate term trend so this based on last 7 years data shows that the trend during the budget day was unable to be correctly decided uh, was unable to correctly decide the short term trend however the intermediate trend was correctly decided in majority of cases now there is only 7 years and i explain there is more macroeconomic data but this helps us back test and understand what kind of strategies to look for and we'll cover that going forward so moving on analysis of trend during previous budget days using candlestick technique again we are just looking at whether the day candle was the day on which the budget was announced was it red or was it green same analysis here uh this is next day close so we are looking at the same day and the next day and then the short term trend and then the intermediate trend okay the the interim budgets have been excluded keep that in mind Uh, for the analysis, uh, only major announcements uh, are made during the full budget. Okay, so that is true for the previous table as well. So in twenty thirteen, the budget day candle was red. Uh, the next day was green, and the short term trend was red and red. Um, same way, you can read this table. You can pause the video and read this table. Uh, I'll just move on to the conclusions. Here again, you see this. day on which the budget was announced was bearish the next day was bearish but after that the short term trend was bullish and bullish and uh, same way uh, you can look at 2015 16 17 18 19 so
So what can be deduced from the candlestick technique? Okay. So four out of seven times the closing uh, on the budget day, which is basically the day on which market reaction happened, was correctly able to determine the short term trend. This happened uh, during all the previous three years. This was true for 2017, 2018, 2019, last three years, same day close, next day close. Uh, it, it, the trend is able to identify correctly the short term trend. Okay. Only two out of seven times the closing of the budget was able to correctly determine, determine the intermediate trend, which is very important to keep in mind. We'll look at the conclusion and we'll understand why. Four out of seven times the closing of the next day uh, of the budget was able to determine the short term trend. This is happening during all the last four years. Basically what this means is 19, 18, 17, 16. The next day's trend is what is continued for the short term. Bullish, 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 bearish, 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 bearish. Only two out of seven times the closing of the budget day was able to be correctly uh, determined by uh, was able to correctly determine the intermediate trend. So this is the same thing as the day can, same days the budget days closing uh, candle and the same is true for the the next day's candle itself next day candles color whether it is red or green okay this data shows that during at least three last budget announcement the closing of the day uh, budget and the next day was correctly able to determine the short term trend but not significant during the intermediate trend what that means is candlestick is able to uh, better define what the short term trend is at least based on the seven years of data which we have showcased here uh, you can go back and do analysis for a longer period uh, now in exponential uh, in 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 trend technique the ema the closing price uh, uh, in comparison with the exponential moving average uh, is is only able to do five out of seven and candlestick is able to do four out of seven for short term trend now what can be concluded from this it is very important to understand the whole table that we did to basically understand the following okay the ema method is more successful in determining intermediate trend intermediate is six months to 12 months trend compared to candlestick technique which is able to only determine short term trend which is one month trend which is what is expected candlestick patterns or can chart patterns are supposed uh, are more derivative of cyclic nature of markets and hence are able to somewhat show the short term trend implies some short term trend whereas exponential moving averages are able to uh, uh, at least on the data that we are looking at is able to analyze for six months to 12 months trend. Okay, so now we have now that we have gone through this, let me uh, take it take it a step forward. Let's understand what does all this imply to us as traders. Okay, that is what is important at the end of the day. As a trader, it is important the, to understand that the market should not remain stagnant okay what is important for us is that market has some movement okay and from the previous data we can deduce that the markets do pick up some kind of directional trend after the union budget announcement it is not sideways it is uh, it can be upwards or downwards some kind of trend now what this means is deploying a trend following and a momentum strategy after a budget can capture moves correctly in the sense you should try both bullish and bearish uh, uh, following strategies and backtest them on previous budgets to understand how can how are they capturing markets and we'll cover some of them uh, in the next slides it is essential to understand proper entry and exit and using proper target and stop loss to mitigate loss from huge volatility because as soon as the budget comes and as soon as there is more information in the market market reacts that creates a lot of volatility so discipline trading becomes more crucial here okay now the prob probability analysis is what we did for the direction uh, uh, in the previous slide 
now we'll go ahead and we'll look at how to identify opportunities uh, of this using streak platform okay so let's look at simple opening range breakout strategies with pivot points during 2019 budget okay so here uh, there is this let me just create the strategy again and show it to you so to create a strategy all you have to do is go to streak.tech click so once you log in this is streak platform let's go and create a strategy you to create a strategy you can go to create strategy here here you can discover some of uh, already pre-created strategies with decent practice results to understand how to build strategies and how to go about doing that all these strategies are here for free you can uh, use it paper trade and understand now let's go to create strategy okay so we are going to create a strategy with an orb cell uh, we are going to create a bearish trend strategy because if you remember here on a trend base uh, because this is a price action kind of a chart based strategy 2019 the candles were bearish so we'll just create a strategy based on that so let's go ahead and create the strategies to create the strategy you have to go and click here on create strategy so i'll add the stocks i'm just adding uh, some stocks with good volume i'll also add the uh, nifty ind index as well so that we can see how the index basically represent the markets better so i'll just say nifty 50 and i'll use nifty 50 index and even bank nifty bank nifty nifty index the time frame of the strategy is uh, five minutes so i'll just go put that it is a short strategy so i'll make a sell here i'll put quantity 100 i'll say close Cross, uh, crosses below it should be so I'll go ahead and modify that but time frame is 15 minutes it's slow and done and here it should be crosses below so that cross below basically takes the trade only when the or gives an alert only when the cross happens uh, again I have to add a pivot point so I'll just say close so close should be lower than the pivot point line to indicate that uh, some kind of resistance is there for the price to go up so i'll just add that i'll make it pivot point i'll keep it standard i'll uh, put a stop loss of one percent target profit of two percent maintaining a decent uh, one is to two win to loss ratio uh, two is to one win to loss ratio i'll just give it a name budget strategy one and i'll save and run back test now i'm running the back test for the budget period the post budget period actually uh, the budget was got announced on 5th july and the strategy is running from that date uh, till 2nd october which is three months period as we can see the strategy has performed phenomenally uh, outperforming the underlying asset itself uh, in this period, ICIC Bank fell actually by 2%, but the strategy generated a 13% returns. Keep in mind, this is without leverage. Here, the price is accounted uh, as 1 is to 1. Hero Motor Corp rose actually by 2%, but the strategy gave 17% uh, uh, returns by shorting it. Uh, Nifty Index gave 2%, and uh, Bank Nifty, it worked much better by giving... Uh, nearly doubling the uh, performance with regards to how much nifty actually fell so bank nifty fell eight percent in this three months but um, using this strategy 16 percent returns were generated so again to keep in mind we are basically showcasing that a price action candle based pattern bearish pattern was seen on the day of budget and next day and using a bearish strategy following that at least in this back test has outperformed the market uh, returns by a huge margin now let's back test and visualize another impact from 2017 uh, this is going to be a sectoral based announcement in 2017 government folk budget government focused a lot on infrastructure investment so let's visualize the results of a momentum based strategy uh, that both before and after the budget announcement so sorry in the previous one i didn't do before we can also do before 
so to do before i'll just go three months back from the day of announcement so let's say uh, so let's say may 5th so we can see how did the did this strategy perform before the budget so quite decent even though but there was a lot of max drawdown uh, even though ICIC rose uh, three percent, shorting it generated four point three five three two percent. After brokerage, it was two percent. So let's let's look at the next one, where sectoral impact. Uh, how does the budget has on a sector, and how can a strategy be used to understand, analyze, and trade those markets? Now keep in mind these are very simple strategies you can have a better more complicated momentum or a moving uh, uh, average or a trend based strategy trend following strategy which might be using super trend or a PSR indicator you can check out the discover page for more uh, ideas or more uh, to, uh, sort of samples on those things uh, but I'll just create a simple MACD based uh, strategy here to uh, this is a bullish uh, strategy because the government uh, focused on uh, infrastructure investment uh, trying to help the markets move up right uh, to support them so let me go and create the strategy quickly let me create the strategy i'll be adding uh, lnt which is uh, lnt infra for infra budget also i'll add the index because that will give us a good idea of how the infra index which come which uh, is a composite of major infra stocks works so as i said earlier it's a bullish strategy okay uh, on hekanashi chart on 5 minutes so let me just create entire conditions so it uses mcd histogram the strategy is very simple a basic one mcd histogram is uh, higher than MACD histogram of previous candle. So I just have to say minus one in offset. Keep in mind offset lets you access values of previous candle. I'll say add another condition and I will say uh, an MACD itself is lower than zero. Let me just confirm here. Yes, MACD 12.69 is lower than the number zero. So I'll just type number and I'll say zero. The exit in this scenario is basically uh, based on super trend. So close crosses below. So close crosses below super trend. The parameters are custom. Uh, you can f uh, try and figure out a parameter that works for you. I'll enter a stop loss and target profit of stop loss of 1%, target profit 3%, uh, good. 3 is to uh, 1 win to loss ratio. I'll give it a name. So, be budget strategy. Okay. So, uh, I'll also change the chart pattern to Hekanashi. Uh, to change that, you just have to click on advanced and you can change to Hekanashi and the uh, trading type as CNC and RML. Even though this is the 5 minute strategy, we'll carry forward on the positions. Let's run back test. So the back test results are here. So as you can see, uh, LNT has generated 7% and the index itself has generated 9% which has outperformed the underlying itself. Uh, if you can see here, I have run the back test uh, from the day the budget was announced, uh, three months post that. We can also, this is post budget. Okay, so post budget, post the infra announcement, the strategy has performed uh, good uh, relative to let's say how it would have performed before. So let's check that out as well. We'll go three months back. So we'll run uh, it from December 2nd to Jan 2nd or Feb, sorry, uh, one more, November 2nd, three months, one quarter before the budget announcement and we'll see how the strategy performs while the back test is running. Uh, you can look at the strategy as we can see the strategy performed well because of budget announcement before that it was not sort of doing anything uh, significant but uh, as soon as bec because of the positive impact and the trend that got established 
by the budget itself the strategy uh, start to perform i have changed the ba dates back and i am running the strategy after the budget impact so the market move is happening because of the strategy itself uh, i'm sorry because of the budget itself and the strategy is just capturing it okay so now that we have looked at infra uh, budget in 2017 let's look at one more year back uh, 2016 when government focused on uh, reviving the psu banks and let's uh, visualize how those uh, strategies performed or how those uh, momentum strategies were able to capture and perform before and after the budget announcement so here we'll use another momentum strategy using arun indicator and ubb uh, very simple to create the strategy you just have to go and click on create uh, i'll add the same stocks here again it's a bullish strategy keep in mind we are following bullish or bearish strategies because the, the of whatever the ema trend at that year indicated or the short term trend of that year indicated okay uh, this is just to explain uh, how you can understand and analyze the budget along with a strategy and have strategies ready on both the directions to capitalize uh, on any move that comes so let's create the strategy here i'll be adding some of the banks so let me add canara bank sbin uh, let's add some small bank also syndicate bank uh, the strategy is as i showed you intraday strategy very simple bullish strategy based on arun okay i'll just put some quantity let me just turn off this assess so i can so the arun up is higher than higher than arun down for those people uh, who want to understand what arun is what uh, these indicators are you can just go to kite chart go to studies and type arun you will see uh, arun up and arun down indicator so this is the arun up arun down indicator all i am trying to say is if arun is showing bullish uh, or arun up is higher than arun down and bollinger band cross uh, close price cross above the bollinger band take a trade so let me just add that close price crosses above uh, upper bollinger band so ubb uh, default parameters the stop loss and the target profit is very simple uh, stop loss is 1% target profit is 2% a simple win to loss ratio now give it a name so let's say you know, budget trading budget trading strategy 3 and we'll run the back test so uh, let the back test run i am running the budget first for the post back test period uh, post uh, budget period then we'll run the pre budget period so as we can see the strategy does decently well uh, it is able to capture the price movement that has come after the budget uh, for all the three banks with a good uh, win to loss ratio uh, compared to uh, Uh, compared to the number of trades that have been taken now let's quickly run on one quarter before the budget so let's run it uh, from uh, 1st of december to uh, the last of feb before the budget was announced and see how this strategy performs so we see that this strategy didn't perform much well uh, prior to the budget okay but post the budget because of the budget announcement itself uh, the trend the bullish trend was uh, created which was captured decently by the strategy itself so again i am running after the budget well i back test again for you guys to see and understand uh, what i am trying to say now the budget is what has caused the trend and the drive to come in market the strategy is simply just trying to understand that capture that and find opportunities in the market now irrespective of whatever the budget can be what is important for a trader we, which we have con, uh, discussed above before is the market must not remain stagnant and because of budget the volatility will increase the trend uh, different kind of trends for different kind of sectors will come and we should have strategies back test them on different periods to understand how different budget scenarios has impacted them and try to deploy and uh, paper trade them before actually uh, Uh, uh put utilizing any money also and understand how those strategies perform in live market okay so now that we have covered three different strategies the first one is just a quick re recap the first one is a uh, price action based strategy opening range breakout simple a uh, budget uh, this was ran on uh, post budget of 
July 2019. Then the next strategy we discussed was the simple momentum based strategy using uh, MACD and super trend. This was run uh, for infra investments from uh, post budget after uh, in first Feb 2017, 2017 year budget. And the next one was 2016 year budget like this. You can build strategies, test them on different budget scenarios and utilize that in live market. Now, uh, again, to recap for those who have missed, if you guys have any questions on how to able how to be able to create a strategy or a scanner, uh, you can always uh, find this request free demo option at the bottom and request a demo or write to us at support at stick.tech. Now concluding, it is uh, very important to analyze historical announcement to be able to trade any upcoming budget. This is very important. And a backtesting platform like Streak helps you backtest with ease without having to worry too much about coding, fetching data, those kind of things. To be able to easily analyze the impact uh, of a particular kind of an indicator or a particular kind of a trading style like price action versus uh, technical based trend following. Uh, how does that play with a specific kind of announcement in a sector or with announcement with in general regards to budget right budget plays a significant role in determining the sector's movement not only for a short term but for a long term as well for at least next 6 to 12 months and a trader must have sound strategy this is very important should have a good strategy and proper risk management to mitigate any volatility that is associated with the union budgets Okay, so these are the few points that I would like to conclude with. If you guys have any questions, feel free to write uh, to us at support at .tech. A very important thing, kindly note, Hindi webinar of the same topic on the same topic will be covering in couple of days on our official channel as well. So uh, feel free to check that out as well. Thank you guys. Uh, before I conclude, for any questions, please uh, feel free to write to us at support at streak.tech. Please follow us on uh, our Twitter handle at streak.tech. Uh, for more educational content on technicals and uh, uh, on trading in general, strategic trading in general, uh, you can uh, follow Zerodhas or Streak's official channel, uh, both on YouTube and on uh, Twitter. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.